In the high-stakes world of luxury electric vehicles, a shocking twist is unfolding. Porsche and Mercedes-Benz, the titans of automotive luxury, are facing an unexpected and dramatic challenge. Despite their legendary status and a history of dominating the roads, their foray into the electric vehicle market is hitting unforeseen turbulence. The Porsche Taycan, once hailed as the future of electric mobility, and Mercedes-Benz's lineup of sleek, high-end EVs are struggling to electrify their sales figures. But why? What's causing these icons of luxury and performance to falter in the electric revolution? Is this just a temporary stumble, or are we witnessing a seismic shift in the luxury EV landscape? Join us as we delve into the intriguing story of Porsche and Mercedes' shock as they can't sell EVs exploring the hidden challenges and surprising twists in the journey of these legendary brands. And without much ado, let's get started. Porsche's Taycan EV, their electric flagship car, hit 27,885 deliveries by September 2023. And Porsche is still betting big on this electric dream, claiming the Taycan is a roaring success story. But what they're not telling you is that their traditional gas-guzzling vehicles are still the crowd favorites with a whopping 243,000 units rolling out. Porsche's overall sales are up by 10% from last year, hitting 242,722 vehicles. But hold on, every market's eating up these Porsches except China. Sales there took a 12% nosedive. Porsche's scratching their heads, blaming the harsh economic climate in China for this slip. But let's not get sidetracked. Globally, excluding China, Porsche's doing pretty well, with a 19% jump in deliveries. The Taycan's numbers are up to 11%. Lutz Meschke, the deputy chairman at Porsche's executive board, is all in on the Taycan, insisting it's a hit story. But, and it's a big but, the Taycan's sales have been somewhat shaky for almost two years. We're talking about a 16% drop in 2022 and another 4.7% dip in 2023. Even with a slight bump in sales recently, it's hard not to wonder, is the Taycan struggling to live up to its hype? The Taycan made up 11.5% of Porsche's total sales in the first nine months of 2023. That's down from 13% in 2022. Now, here's where it gets even more intriguing. Reports are buzzing that Porsche might lean on its gas-powered vehicles for a while longer. Despite plans for an electric version this year, they're even keeping the gas-powered Macan in the lineup. And the 911, their crown jewel, isn't going anywhere during this electric transition. Porsche is not throwing in the towel on their EV goals, though. They're aiming for a 12 to 14 percent slice of the EV pie this year. In 2019, when they launched the Taycan, they were eyeing sales of around 20,000 cars a year. Meshki's proud they've outdone that target despite the bumpy road in supply chains and varying e-mobility trends across the regions. But it has taken four years to get to the 20,000 figure. The auto world's been spinning fast, with electric cars' market share tripling from about 4% in 2020 to 14% in 2022. In this fast-paced world, where EV manufacturers like Tesla and BYD are releasing new and improved cars every now and then, Porsche seems to just be cruising rather than keeping up with the EV race. Mercedes-Benz is also feeling the heat in the electric vehicle arena. They've hit a snag with intense competition, with rivals slashing prices and those pesky supply chain issues. They're bracing for a dip in their sales forecasts, expecting to hit lower than their 12 to 14 percent target in 2024. It feels like they've already given up this early in the year. And their fourth quarter earnings are not exactly a cause for celebration. We're talking about a downturn that's got everyone on edge. Harold Wilhelm, the CFO of Mercedes-Benz, highlighted the issues the company is facing in an analyst call. According to him, the EV market is a bloodbath, with competitors going all out, offering electric cars at prices that have everyone doing a double check. It's a brutal scene, with EVs selling for less than the regular gas guzzlers, even though they cost more. Mercedes-Benz is standing by its EV dreams, but they're not putting all their eggs in one basket. They're watching their favorite combustion engine cars to keep the lights on if EV profits don't pick up. Despite some price cuts on their models in Germany, they're sticking to their bet on premium pricing. But even the financial markets aren't being fair. Mercedes-Benz shares took a nosedive, dropping over 6%, hitting their lowest in nearly a year. They weren't alone, though. BMW and VW also felt the pinch, with their shares declining too. This EV market drama is a global problem. Big names like Ford and Tesla have been slashing prices left and right to rev up demand. 
However, Mercedes-Benz is playing a different game, sticking to its high-end pricing strategy. Financially speaking, Mercedes-Benz fourth quarter was a mixed bag. The earnings before interest and taxes took a hit, dropping by 6.8% to 4.8 billion euros, and the revenue was down by 1.4% to 37.2 billion euros. They're attributing this to a bunch of stuff, economic downturns, supply chain hiccups, and a shortage of the 48 volt batteries. Wilhelm's trying to stay optimistic though. He believes that they've seen the worst of it when it comes to inflation and energy prices. In essence, the EV market is in a bit of a pickle. Despite higher costs, selling EVs for less than gas cars has everyone scratching their heads. It's a tough spot for big players like Mercedes-Benz. They have to rethink their strategies and business models to stay in the game. It's a wild ride and everyone's watching to see how these automotive giants will steer through these electric times. It seems like the shiny allure of EVs is getting a tad tarnished. Major car makers, including Mercedes-Benz, are scratching their heads as customer demand starts to wobble. Other traditional car giants are pumping the brakes on their EV rollouts, wrestling with how to keep up with those jaw-droppingly low prices from Tesla and Chinese brands. Both Mercedes and Porsche are renowned for crafting high-performance luxury vehicles, but the premium attached to their brand names often translates into elevated price tags for their EVs. This pricing dynamic places them in direct competition with more affordable electric options from other manufacturers, making it challenging to attract a broader consumer base. Another stumbling block for Mercedes and Porsche in the EV market is the perceived lack of innovation compared to their counterparts. While these automakers are pioneers in traditional luxury vehicles, their electric offerings are perceived by some as trailing behind in terms of cutting-edge technology and features. In a rapidly evolving EV landscape where consumers increasingly prioritize advanced tech and sustainable features, this perceived lag can deter potential buyers. Infrastructure concerns are also playing a role in hindering EV sales for these brands. The charging infrastructure remains a crucial aspect of the EV experience, and consumers often consider the convenience and accessibility of charging stations. In comparison to some competitors, Mercedes and Porsche are facing challenges in providing an extensive and user-friendly charging network, potentially deterring potential buyers concerned about range anxiety. Currently, EVs are popping up everywhere, signaling a significant shift in our global mindset towards sustainability and top-notch tech. But it's not all a smooth ride. Car makers are facing their fair share of challenges. Think supply chain issues, a mad dash for battery materials, and keeping up with what drivers want. It's a high speed race where everyone's eyeing the top spot. Automotive giants have been diving headfirst into the EV future, but it's not as smooth as they thought. Sure, they've rolled out some stunning electric models, but their sales aren't quite hitting those high notes. On the other side, look at Tesla and BMW. They're cruising through the electric current with a bit more finesse. Tesla has pretty much become the poster child for electric cars, while BMW's lineup is making people sit up and take notice and reach for their wallets. Porsche and Mercedes, with their storied past in the car world, are learning that a good name doesn't automatically put you in the lead in this new electric chapter. As the electric landscape keeps shifting, these car legends are at a crossroads. The challenge isn't just engineering a powerful electric motor or crafting a fashionable interior. It's about keeping pace with a constantly changing market, where what drivers want, environmental needs, and tech breakthroughs are constantly in motion. Porsche and Mercedes need to steer through these challenges with agility and vision. They've got to blend their legacy of luxury and performance with what the new eco-aware driver is looking for. This might mean a whole new game plan in terms of design, how they market themselves, and even their business strategies. And that concludes our video today. What do you think is the biggest challenge Porsche and Mercedes will face in the EV market? And how should they overcome it? Share your thoughts in the comments section below and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the content. For more captivating insights into the world of cars, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Until our next exploration, stay tuned.